So now in this video, we're going to take a look at my new Nightcore D4 Digi Charger and it's a rechargeable battery charger and it independently charges all the batteries. What it's telling you right now is that all of these batteries are fully charged. I have these batteries. These are cheap batteries for this power bank, which is a cheap power bank. Another thing to note, these batteries, like uh, regular batteries, they, they have a little metal part that comes out on the positive side of the battery. This uh, power bank looks like it's really made for the lithium ion batteries where it's just flat down here. It looks really similar on both ends. A lot of these batteries other than uh, there's a little difference here but a lot of them are flat here and you have to have positive. These ones stick out. That doesn't matter for the charger but uh, for this power bank I thought I mentioned that. So I charged these last night. It's gonna take a while to charge these today so I'm just gonna hurry and get to that part. I'm gonna remove these batteries. I'm not gonna put them in this uh, power bank though because these batteries are charged now. These ones are not very charged. Most of their charge is gone and this power bank puts them in parallel. So the charged ones will start charging the discharged ones until the voltages equal out and that will be a lot of current. So that's one warning with these batteries. Know what you're doing before you use them. So now I have all the batteries out of here. The display went clear. This charger does everything automatically. There's a couple of settings for you to uh, look at some readings. We'll go over that. But uh, for the most part, you just put the batteries in. And it doesn't matter if you put one in or four in. That has these sliding things. And again, I'm new uh, to this charger. I'll do more detailed videos later on. But uh, you pop in the one battery. Now you see the battery was a little less than three volts. There we see the charging. And it's going to scroll through a few things. The voltage of the battery right now. The current that the uh, charger is putting into the battery to charge it. You can see it already went up. And how long it's been charging. It's also identified that this is a lithium ion battery. And right now it's constant current. So it either uh, it charges a, a few different ways. Constant current, constant voltage and uh, something else but uh, appears that saying constant current and now it doesn't matter which of these I put in you can see it's charging this one and that one so it uh, monitors and everything these four different ones independently and now it's kind of scrolling through the little arrow says what battery it's displaying info about right now and uh, it's not doing it now. When I was charging those other ones, some at one time it was going from one to the other to the other, and it's just holding that one. So we got this button. You can switch which battery it's reading, and then this button, what mode it displays. But uh, if you get rechargeable batteries, this recharges all kinds of different rechargeable batteries. I've only done these so far though, so I don't have any warnings or uh, tips or anything. I, I can't think of anything that might come up. And as you can see, it displays all kinds of stuff. Let's you know right here that uh, it's identified these as lithium ion batteries. So this is a pretty nice charger. Now one more thing before I go. The, when I charged those four, I, I checked on it part way and I found this got really hot, especially on the back. It does have these little legs, but as you can see, I got them on a stack of paper, so I'm sure they kind of folded up uh, there. But in any case, I'm just going to elevate it right now. And that uh, once I elevated it a little bit yesterday, it cooled off uh, a fair amount. So it's probably fine on a hard surface, but especially if you're going to put this on a soft surface, put something under it to get a little airflow back there.